आप सभी का विनोद इंटरटेनमेंट में एक बार फिर से स्वागत है आज हम कम्युनिकेशन के एक ऐसे एस्पेक्ट को पढ़ने जा रहे हैं कि किस तरह से संस्था में वो जो है एक कम्युनिकेशन नेटवर्क कैसा होता है मींस किस तरह से वो नेटवर्क में पास करता है फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट हाउ द कम्युनिकेशन फ्लो इन द नेटवर्क वेन यू आर वर्किंग इन एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सो वी हैव ऑलरेडी रेड अबाउट अपवर्ड एंड डाउनवर्ड कम्युनिकेशन एंड horizontal communication and diagonal communication besides we have also read about gang plank and we have also read about gossips or rumor or grape wine whatever we you can call it so from that perspective if you are aware of those things as to how communication flows in in an organization then we can understand how it is networked in an organization especially if you are science student you are always networking things so you can easily understand it and even if you are not science student still you can understand it because some of the patterns we have been reading from early childhood so the first formal network is the chain network as you understand chain is a sequence one by one one by one when something is connected that creates a chain so chain network is a network where communication is strictly following a particular pattern either it is going vertical or it is going downward only then a chain can be created because there is a sequence of communication it is passing through one by one one by one one by one to another and again it is returning one by one one by one to the down level so this creates a network where strict hierarchy is maintained and communication is either always flowing either upward or downward that is why it is called chain network so chain network is normally visible in military organization or some organization where strict hierarchical pattern is maintained even if something is private and if you create an institution where strict hierarchy has to be maintained then the communication network that will be functional in those organization will be a chain network is used in direct line of authority communication with no deviation permitted then see there is another network that is called y network first one chain network then another is y network y is like this cell. if you understand it so if you invert it means if you just upside down it then what will happen you can observe that two employees are reporting to the boss and then it is again going into a particular chain so this is the behavior of this network where the communication can flow either horizontally or vertically that is why this is called y network y network means either something is going upward or downward or sometimes it is going laterally so these two segment represent the horizontal movement whereas the y is another line that represent the chain network so as it automatically explains that in an organization where lateral communication is also a lot or the horizontal communication is also a lot and certain level of hierarchy is also there where the communication will pass through that network means it will pass in a sequence it will pass in a chain and it will go upward and downward then that kind of communication is called y network so y network is a bit a kind of organization where a bit of horizontal and vertical both movements are allowed it means it is a bit liberal because there is no strict authority authority is there but strictness and stiffness is not there and it is not interwoven if somebody is passing that hierarchy or passing that movement then no action will follow because this is organizationally permitted so why type of organization is mostly operated or it is visible in private sector because private sector follows both these patterns because it has efficiency at its core so the network that is being permitted in that kind of organization is nothing but 
a movement in all direction so that the work can be effectively done and it can be done fast and the goal can be achieved at the earliest. Hope you understand it. Then there is something called wheel network. As you understand, wheel is like circle. It means communication can flow in any direction. It can be horizontal, it can be vertical, or it can be diagonal. In any kind of formation, the communication can flow. So the wheel network refers to several subordinate reporting to a senior means subordinates are placed at different different places and they are reporting from different direction to different person this is a combination of horizontal and diagonal flow of communication so horizontal we had already explained you diagonal you understand it so horizontal means it is passing in any direction and diagonal is it is passing in a particular direction so when horizontal and diagonal both communications are both kind of communication is a lot in an organization then that is a wheel network and but how here what we observe though all the subordinates are equal at equal level and they do equal work all of them report to one superior means superior is there and they are reporting from different 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 directions so superior is the same but report is coming from different different directions that is called it is called wheel kind of network all of them report to one superior and without any interaction between them that is important that one subordinate does not know what the other is doing who the other is so in big organization what we observe that different different people are designed given different different authority they are delegated different different kind of authority and they are placed at different different places and they have hardly any interaction because they know only who is his senior so he or she directly report to his senior others will also directly report to his senior others will directly report to his senior the senior is the same so that is why it is called wheel network thank you dosto welcome to vino infotainment <coughs> आप सभी का विनोद इंटरटेनमेंट में एक बार फिर से स्वागत है आज हम कम्युनिकेशन के एक ऐसे एस्पेक्ट को पढ़ने जा रहे हैं कि किस तरह से संस्था में वो जो है एक कम्युनिकेशन नेटवर्क कैसा होता है मींस किस तरह से वो नेटवर्क में पास करता है फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट हाउ द कम्युनिकेशन फ्लो इन द नेटवर्क वेन यू आर वर्किंग इन एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सो नॉर्मली वॉट हैपन्स ए वेराइटी ऑफ पैटर्न हैज इम्बर्स वेर कम्युनिकेशन passes through either it is vertical sorry or diagonal or horizontal so we have already read about upward and downward communication and uh, horizontal communication and diagonal communication besides we have also read about gang plank and we have also read about gossips or rumor or grape wine whatever we you can call it so from that perspective if you are aware of those things as to how communication flows in in an organization then we can understand how it is networked in an organization especially if you are science student you are always networking things so you can easily understand it and even if you are not science student still you can understand it because some of the patterns we have been reading from early childhood so the first formal network is the chain network as you understand chain is a sequence one by one one by one when something is connected that creates a chain so chain network is a network where communication is strictly following a particular pattern either it is going vertical or it is going down only then a chain can be created because there is a sequence of communication it is passing through one by one one by one one by one to another and again it is returning one by one one by one to the down level so this creates a network where a strict hierarchy is maintained and communication is either always flowing either upward or 
downward. That is why it is called chain network. So chain network is normally visible in military organization or some organization where strict hierarchical pattern is maintained. Even if something is private and if you create an institution where strict hierarchy has to be maintained, then the communication network that will be functional in those organizations will be a chain network. Hope you understand it. This network is, sorry, this network is used in direct line of authority communication with no deviation permitted. Then see, there is another network that is called Y network. First one, chain network, then another is Y network. Y is like this cell, if you understand it. So if you invert it, means if you just upside down it, then what will happen? You can observe that two employees are reporting to the boss and then it is again going into a particular chain. So this is the behavior of this network where the communication can flow either horizontally or vertically. That is why this is called Y network. Y network means either something is going upward or downward or sometimes it is going laterally. So these two segments represent the horizontal movement whereas the Y is another line that represents the chain network. So as it automatically explains that in an organization where lateral communication is also a lot or the horizontal communication is also a lot and certain level of hierarchy is also there where the communication will pass through that network means it will pass in a sequence it will pass in a chain and it will go upward and downward then that kind of communication is called y network so y network is a bit a kind of organization where a bit of horizontal and vertical both movements are allowed it means it is a bit liberal because there is no strict authority the authority is there but strictness and stiffness is not there and it is not interwoven if somebody is passing that hierarchy or passing that movement then no action will follow because this is organizationally permitted so why type of organization is mostly operated or it is visible in private sector because private sector follows both these patterns because it has efficiency at its core so the network that is being permitted in that kind of organization is nothing but a movement in all direction so that the work can be effectively done and it can be done fast and the goal can be achieved at the earliest. Hope you understand it. Then there is something called wheel network. As you understand, wheel is like circle. It means communication can flow in any direction. It can be horizontal, it can be vertical, or it can be diagonal. In any kind of formation, the communication can flow. So the wheel network refers to several subordinate reporting to a senior means subordinates are placed at different different places and they are reporting from different directions to different person. This is a combination of horizontal and diagonal flow of communication. So horizontal we had already explained you diagonal you understand it. So horizontal means it is passing in any direction. And diagonal is it is passing in a particular direction. So when horizontal and diagonal both communications are both kind of communication is a lot in an organization, then that is a wheel network. And but how tough the subordinates are of equal works that is important. Here, what we observe, though all the subordinates are equal at equal level and they do equal work, all of them report to one superior. 
means superior is there and they are reporting from different 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 directions so superior is the same but report is coming from different different directions that is called it is called free kind of network all of them report to one superior and without any interaction between them that is important that one subordinate does not know what the other is doing who the other is so in big organization what we observe that different different people are designed given different different authority they are delegated different different kind of authority and they are placed at different different places and they have hardly any interaction because they know only who is his senior so he or she directly report to his senior others will also directly report to his senior other will directly report to his senior the senior is the same so that is why it is called full network thank you then there is something called circle network as it all of you know how the circle is created like this so circle network is just like the wheel network with a bit of difference what is that difference the circle network allows employee to interact with adjacent members but no further than that means you can interact with your colleague at your level but you cannot do more than that look for example at this three level hierarchy there is vertical communication between superiors and subordinate and horizontal communication only at the lowest level so this is called circle network so the slightest difference is you are reporting to the same senior but only difference is here interaction is allowed among the employees also then there is free flow network or sometimes it is called a star network as the word denotes <coughs> free flow means the communication is flowing in every direction because almost every employee is equal and everyone has to cohesively work as a team or a group so they communicate with each other and they are at same level sometime sometimes every individual is a leader into himself or sometimes they can be common employee also but they want to form a group and establish a network of communication which helps them to complete the task in a more cohesive manner so here if you put some restrictions and if there is some communication network barrier then what will happen the communication will not be established so some organization allows it to permit or allows it to operate in a free flow manner so that employees can communicate with each other and some task or goal can be achieved more effectively but this is rather uncommon and only the competent and capable people who have leadership ability can utilize this form of communication in a far efficient way otherwise free flow communication sometimes leads to rumors being spread or sometime it can lead to a situation where rather than becoming a cohesive group it becomes a group of rumor mongers and sometimes there is a possibility that some leakage might be there and some secrecy might be compromised so but this channel is also being practiced is a fact because a lot of organizations nowadays feel about increasing efficiency from that perspective it is important that the communication restrictions should be as minimum as possible so that employee can directly communicate and reach to a goal there are no restrictions who can communicate with who aise kisi tarah ki badhai nahi hoti ki kaun kisse usme interaction karega all are equal as no one employee formally or informally assumes a leading role मीन्स कोई भी एक ऐसा इंप्लॉय नहीं होगा जो कि लीडिंग रोल में आ जाएगा फॉर्मली और इनफॉर्मली वो सब एक लेवल पे ही रहते हैं फॉर इफेक्टिव यूज ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन नेटवर्क वी नीड टू रिमेम्बर द फॉलोइंग कहता है कि आफ्टर नोइंग ऑल दिस नेटवर्क हाउ कैन बी इफेक्टिवली यूज टू कम्युनिकेट इन ए पर्टिकुलर नेटवर्क उसके लिए क्या क्या चीज जरूरत है नो सिंगल नेटवर्क इज सुटेबल फॉर ऑल मींस कोई भी संस्था होगी आज के मॉडर्न डे ऑर्गेनाइजेशन होगी उसमें एक नेटवर्क के सहारे काम नहीं होगा द व्हील एंड ऑल चैनल आर प्रेफर्ड 
इट स्पीड ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन इज प्रायोरिटी मीन्स आजकल के जो मॉडर्न ऑर्गेनाइजेशन है उसमें आप ज्यादातर देखेंगे कि व्हील जो है और जो ऑल चैनल मॉडल्स है नेटवर्क है इसको प्रेफर किया जाता है क्योंकि वहां पे स्पीड की जरूरत होती है और कहता है कि चेन एंड वॉइस एंड व्हील नेटवर्क ये जो चेन नेटवर्क था वाई नेटवर्क था और व्हील नेटवर्क था व्हील नेटवर्क में भी आपने देखा था कि बॉस एक रहता है आदमी अलग अलग बैठा हुआ है वो एक दूसरे से इंटरेक्शन नहीं करता है कहता है कि इट्स बेस्ट व्हेन एक्यूरेसी इज क्रूशियल एंड स्ट्रिक्ट डिसिप्लिन इज क्रूशियल एंड सेक्रेसी इज क्रूशियल सो इन दैट केस ओनली डायरेक्ट सुपीरियर और सबॉर्डिनेट हैंडल्स एवरी because that information has to be shared individually with the superiors by individual employees so wahan pe is tarah ki cheezon ko prefer kiya jata hai thank you hope you enjoy you understand in a simplest word as to how these networks communication networks work isi base pe aapko jab koi sanstha mein aap uske programming karne jayenge ya kisi sanstha mein aap kaam karne jayenge bba aur bca karke या एम करके या एम करके तो आपको इस नेटवर्क को समझना पड़ेगा कि आप कहाँ पे बैठे हुए हैं आपकी क्या ऑथोरिटी है क्या डेलीगेशन है और क्या कंपनी की रूल्स आपको परमिट करती हैं कम्युनिकेट करने के लिए अपने एम्प्लॉय के साथ अगर इस चीज को आप समझते हैं तो देर इज ऑलमोस्ट नो पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ एनी इर है and you shall never be granted because organizer will understand that the individuals understand where and what to do and how to operate thanks a lot for watching video entertainment hope you enjoy this content